Well, someone made a hit piece about yours truly. Um, a Trump supporter has crafted a documentary. I was about to say docu-series. I hope it's not a series. A documentary uh, about me or video. And I'm going to play it for you. But for context, we're going to go through a few different attacks from Trump supporters as of late against me. I just recently gave access to my colleague and producer, Jaden, to my Twitter DMs. Because what started to happen was the angry ones, the rude ones, caused me to not really like checking too much my Twitter DMs. And thus, I would miss important, important things. And... So he's been checking there, and it gave him the idea of something we've done before, which is let me put together a presentation of, of what the Trump supporters are saying about you, and then you can watch it for the first time on the show. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'll be reviewing this with fresh eyes, and first is <laughs> a part of this video that somebody made. As you can see, the thumbnail, it's titled, I guess, The Cuckening. So that's very highbrow and we're gonna try i don't know if it'll pop up when i click play on this but we're gonna try not to give this guy's name because that would be exactly what he wants hello ladies and gentlemen here i present to you luke beasley the kid with the weakest frailest limp arm his arm hangs sideways just bending straight down to the ground his wrist can't lock it just hangs this limp-wristed little cuck anyways if i was in front of you you would not say these things because you would be afraid that i would twist your arm look at you you got your mouth wide open for some of biden harris all righty everybody soft. let's just scroll really fast what? wow fake account so first of all hmm Apparently, I have limp wrists, and that's an insult. So that's interesting. And okay, I guess that's it. That's sort of the thesis so far. Hello, ladies. Oh no, and I can't. I started over. Nobody wants to hear that again. Let's go from here. All righty, everybody. Soft. Let's just scroll really fast. Wow, fake account, fake account, fake account, fake account, fake account. Fake account. Fake account, fake account, fake account, fake account, fake account, fake account. So I guess, I guess he's calling every account from a commenter that doesn't have a profile photo fake. As if, uh, the point he's trying to make is I have an audience of fake accounts. But a bunch of you out there who are watching right now probably don't have profile photos. Go ahead, just to really trigger this guy if he comes across this. Comment right now if you don't have a profile photo that you're a real person, okay? Because he thinks if you don't have a profile photo, you're a fake account that I guess I've paid for or something. Fake account, 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 fake account. Holy just doesn't stop. Fake. Look at all these fake accounts, bro. I don't think he knows what a fake account is. Those are just people who don't publish on YouTube and don't have a profile photo. Again, comment if that describes you. Wow. I've been I've been uh, hit where it hurts. Moving forward. Oh my gosh, Jaden just really coming in aggressively with these. So somebody said and the pronouns are bro slash bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's it like being a liberal P-word that gets no chicks? And then I guess around five hours later, I was still on their mind. And so they, they sent another DM saying liberal virgin. Okay. Are you noticing already a pattern? The first guy and this person, very... Let me put it this way. Mm, how do I say this <laughs> properly? They seem to levy attacks from a sexualized place rather often. And maybe they should just do some soul searching about why there's so much strife there for them. <laughs> what? Uh, 
we're gonna have to blur this one out Jaden we're gonna blur this out but it says Democrats love getting screwed by Biden and I guess it's me pictured in such a scenario then let's see it's somebody here <laughs> saying responding to something I tweeted me responding to Lauren Boebert saying no we don't want Trump back and this person said, why not? I'd love to chat and hear your thoughts. But you won't reply since you don't have a good reason. And it's all a charade. And then I guess a long time after, a long time after that. So on May 6th, they're honestly being sort of polite. Hey, I'd love to chat to hear your thoughts. And then July 24th, day bef before my birthday, they say, clown. Uh, but they think that I won't reply that's because there's so many, I hate to break your heart on this front, but there's a bunch of yous sending these sorts of messages. So it's kind of hard to respond to all of you. A uh, bunch of angry Trump supporters and maybe MAGA haters, you're not quite as special as you think you are. But the good reason I have for not wanting Trump back is because last time he was president, he tried to block the peaceful transfer of power, which is one of the worst things you can do as a sitting president. Sort of tried to end our American experiment. Since then, has called for the termination of the Constitution. Has said the government should go after media outlets that he doesn't like. Of course, in his past, he has the history of disparaging veterans, calling them suckers and losers, saying John McCain's not a hero because he was captured. And Trump likes people who weren't captured. Has mocked disabled Americans. His one major legislative achievement was. Uh, cutting taxes disproportionately for those at the top of the economic ladder. Shall I go on? There are reasons we would not want him to be back. And somebody said, maybe Biden was the real friends we made along the way. Okay. And then someone said, expose a single lie, because I've said on Twitter that I expose, or I try to expose lies. Uh, LMAO, we're still waiting. Still waiting. I'd say my history on youtube has a lot of lies that have been exposed oh this one this one knew how to hurt me p word p word <laughs> this is what cracks me up july 3rd they say p word july 7th <laughs> days later they're thinking did he get the message p word again then someone said per oh my gosh this is why I don't read the DMs, guys. Uh, but we do pull from intelligent, thoughtful people like most of you watching. Jane does grab those if they're, if they're uh, notable. A person said, progressive, you're a... Should I read this? I, get children out of the room, okay? I'm going to have to read this for effect. You're a, quote, ball-bagged face little weasel. And then I heard you, I'm not reading that, but something vulgar. 63% of our watch time in the last 28 days has come from people who aren't subscribed. Uh. If all of you who aren't yet subscribed can click that subscribe button, it would make all the difference. I appreciate it. Back to the video. And then I wish I could smack the something out of, and I'm going to move this because I need to see it. I'm going to see what's under this little, oh, okay. Yeah. Your F slur ass effing clown is how that, how that finished. And maybe I'll play it again so you can see. Your F slur, anti-gay F slur, and then ass, and then effing clown. So here's the point. I've met a bunch of conservatives, because that was the end of the presentation, out in the world, and Trump supporters, and most of them, we disagree but it doesn't get this crazy. <laughs> It'd be crazy in person if someone said this type of stuff to me. <laughs> you ball bag face, uh, little weasel. No. Even at rallies. I guess there's that. Those few times. But mo most of the time, still stay, stay civil. But it's interesting how, and this is not breaking news, but it definitely makes it self-present in how people engage with our show. It's fascinating that people feel so brave behind their keyboard or that the type of person that would reach out to say something angry happens to be extra unhinged. And I won't 
be anything other than fully accurate. I've gotten DMs from people who are right-wingers and say, perfectly respectfully, I like to debate or I disagree with you on that, of course. This was sort of the unhinged examples. But uh, it's very interesting how much the online space, the division and the fury is exacerbated. And that's why I encourage people to have real-world conversations and why I make such an effort to go into real-world scenarios. Because what have I told you before? Even at these wild Trump rallies where people are saying crazy, crazy things, I still acknowledge our shared humanity, our shared experiences about so many things, and how many of them are acting in good faith, have good hearts, but are so wildly misled and are supporting someone so dangerous. And then some of them have very, very vile values, obviously. But a lot of people are, in my personal life, good people misled. And whenever you have more in-person conversations and don't allow your worldview to be constructed by stuff like this or to be influenced by it, I think we end up having better, more productive conversations. So I guess that's, that's my takeaway from this. Crazy people saying crazy things, but this is not representative of our country, I don't think, as shown by, I've been to Trump rallies where people recognize me and I guess it did get heated one time, but a lot of times they'll come up and say, I've seen your videos and I don't like you, but nice to meet you, you know, or in other scenarios, people who are positively talking with me about the show and they enjoy it. And I like to believe that most people are good. And if you can operate on that premise, I think politics becomes a healthier thing to engage with. That's a nice takeaway from the cockading <laughs> documentary. <laughs> I like calling it that because it's just him. Luke Beasley is uh, limp-wristed. That gives it way more worth than it actually deserves. Let me know what you thought of that. If you're what he accused to be a fake account, let me know. And uh, hopefully we'll continue trying to facilitate more reasonable conversations on this show.